How's it going guys? This is Benjamin and right now I'm going to go over my top three chest exercises for hypertrophy. With that being said, let's not waste any time. We're going to jump right in. Number three is going to be your Larson barbell press. The reason why the Larson press is number three is because you do have to first learn how to conduct a proper bench press. Once you do, we're gonna jump right into the Larson. Now, the Larson press, it really focuses on teach you how to maintain position. High chest raised, retracted scapulas, and because you're not utilizing your legs, your obliques are really firing off to maintain position. Number two is going to be your dumbbell press. The reason why I like the dumbbell press so much is because you do get excellent activation in your pecs. But what's most important is it allows your shoulders to press from a more natural position, a more safe position. And it really works those stabilization muscles. So for me, when I get a new client and they tell me that they're new to the gym, we're starting off with dumbbell press. And once they get comfortable with that, then we move on to the barbell press. Number one, you think it's gonna be dips? It is not. It's going to be your push-ups. And when I say push-ups, I mean all different variations. When I first started working out, I was in high school, the first thing I did was push-ups every morning to failure. And then I got more advanced and I got really in love with doing different variations of the push-up. You can do diamonds if your shoulders are impinged at a particular position. You can change it. You can do wide. You can do neutral. You can do staggered. You can do medicine ball. You can do bosa ball. You can do whatever. And it's going to be a workout all in its own. So, with that being said, what do you think, guys? That was my top three. Would you add anything? Would you take it away? If so, leave your comments in the section below. Like and share and subscribe. Until then, peace.